Hello, um, my name is Matt Jarvis. I've taught psychology for a number of years now at A level and at university level. I've also been involved in research into the transition between A level and university level. So, what I'm going to talk about today is trying to give you a little bit of an insight into how it's going to be different if you move on from studying A level to studying psychology at university. Um, the first thing to say, I think, is the subject matter will be different. If you've particularly enjoyed psychodynamic psychology, humanistic psychology, um, what we might call the softer bits of psychology, you might not enjoy psychology as much at university. Um, at university level, psychology is treated as pure science. There'll be lots of biology, lots of cognitive psychology. Um, so that's important to say at the start. The subject may not be quite the same as, as what you've seen at A-level. What goes with that, really, is the idea of doing psychology rather than just studying it. Psychology is a very research-based subject, and once you're at university, an awful lot of your time will be spent carrying out your own research and analysing results. Um, so you won't be able to escape statistics. Um, I, I, I wouldn't let that put you off, because I think... Um, statistics will make a lot more sense once you're carrying out a substantial amount of research of your own. Um, but do be aware that it's there. So, so that's the first point, the kind of the subject matter of psychology. The way you study is also very different. One of the things that uh, colleagues in higher education say about A-level students you know, when they start at university is they do tend to be reliant on a single textbook. Um, it won't be like that at university at all. You'll, you'll be expected to spend a lot of time in the library. Uh, you may have reading lists, but they're, they are big and they're only recommended. So the expectation is much more that you'll, you'll, you'll kind of run with ideas and, and explore things on your own in, in, independently. So that's the key word, I think, independent. Uh, and and that you'll probably find that is different from A-level. The final thing I think really to talk about is the way you are assessed. At A-level, you're being prepared for exams, and those exams will be marked uh, by teachers with set mark schemes where there are sort of thousands, perhaps tens of thousands of people taking the same paper at the same time. And the, the, the aim in marking is reliability, that the same student should get the same mark as another student if they've written the same thing. Now, what this inevitably means is it's, you're not looking for imaginative answers. That's different at university. There's no single right answer that's there on a mark scheme waiting. What your lecturers will be looking for is imagination, creativity, for you to have explored ideas on your own and come up with your own conclusions. And that's very different. Um, one idea that you, you might find comforting or you might find a bit threatening is that there is no correlation between who does well in psychology A-level and who does well on a psychology degree. They're that different.